Hi, this is Scott Morseman with eCabinets Tips and Tricks. Today we're going to continue with the time tracking application that we're working on and building that in Excel. In the last video I showed you how to uh, set up the user form so that when we clicked the Get Started button here, it would bring up the user form and make it the same size as the actual application window. Now, let's say for example you had this window minimized down and then you ran this. That's the size that the user form will be. Today we're going to be setting some variables, or declaring some variables, if you will, for the different worksheets that we have added to this workbook, as well as one for the actual workbook itself. Uh, well, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be working with public variables. Now, I'm kind of new to this. If you guys are not real familiar with variables and variable scopes, you're going to want to check out the video that I have posted in this link from Trevor Easton. He goes through in a lot more detail than what I am getting ready to do about variables, scopes of variables, and what have you. So be sure you click on that link, go to his channel, subscribe to his channel, watch that video, and then come back and follow along with, with, with me on this one. So let's go ahead and let's go into the Visual Basics Editor. So I clicked on my Developer tab up here. I'm going to click on View Code, and it starts out with a completely blank um, code window here. Okay. What I want to do is I want to go to View and Project Explorer. Okay, and I can see my different um, modules that I have in here. There, these are all my worksheets. Okay, this is the module for. This is where my forms are. Okay, so I've got some modules. I don't have any new modules in here. What I want to do first is I want to insert a brand new module. Okay, so I'm going to go to Insert right here and Module. Okay, now I want to go to my Properties window. So I'm going to go View, or you can hit um, F4 on your keyboard. But I'm going to go View Properties window. And this is my module name right here currently. I'm going to change this to PBLC BARS for public variables. Okay, and that's my new module. Okay, now what I can do is I can double click on this and it brings open the actual code window here. And you can see right here we are have declarations right here and that's what I want to be in. What I want to do is I'm going to start out declaring my variables. Now when you're dealing with public variables they need to be declared outside of your actual subroutine that you're going to be using them in. You can't declare them like you've seen me done before where you say dim um, for example home as worksheet and then set home to be masked wb.sheets and then the sheet tab name home. You can't do it that way. You need to start out with the keyword public, not dim. So I'm just going to say public. Okay, and I'm going to start out on my first variable, which is going to be the master workbook here, or I'm just going to use mast wb. Now remember, these can be whatever you want them. So just make them whatever you want them, just as long as you can remember them easily. Okay, and then I'm going to say as, and it's going to bring up IntelliSense, and I'm going to do that as a workbook. Hit tab. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and go through and get all the rest of them. So I need one for, for each one of these worksheets. So it'll be public, home, as worksheets. So let me go ahead and do this one, and then I'm going to go ahead and take care of the rest of them. So public, and then home. as worksheet this time, not workbook. Okay, tab, and I'm going to go ahead and take care of all the rest of these and I'll be right back. I want you to go through and do the same thing. Just list each one of these worksheets with the, starting with the keyword public and then your um, variable name and then as worksheet for the worksheets there. Okay, so let me go ahead and get all those taken care of and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got all my variables in here. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to have a, another 
procedure that will set all those. So I'm going to come up here to Insert, Procedure. It brings, open, it brings up this dialog, and I can name it just like you would if you were going to come up here and say, put the uh, sub name and open and close parentheses. Exactly the same thing. It's just a little form you fill out. So I'm going to name this one set PBLC bars. Okay, now I want to make sure that I got subs uh, click here, not function or property. And the scope now is going to be a public scope, not private. If you have this set to private, you're not going to be able to call it up inside another subroutine. Okay, so make sure it's set to public. I'm going to click OK, and it gets the subroutine started here. Now what I need to do is I need to set all these. So I'm going to use the keyword set, and I'm going to type my variable so mast wb which is the first one and I'm going to say equals this workbook and the reason I'm using a variable for my workbook here is because later on we might be accessing this workbook from a different workbook okay so you really need a variable for that and that's going by making this public it's going to help us out as you will see in future videos. I'm going to go ahead and set my next one here home. So right here, just going to hit enter. I'm going to say set home and then equals again. I'm going to say mast wb. I need to reference the actual workbook just in case we're accessing this home tab from another workbook okay so set home equals mast wb dot sheets and then in parentheses here and quotes I'm going to type my sheet name which is going to be home in quotes and close parentheses okay now I'm going to go through and get the rest of these and you guys can do the same thing uh, right here is a mistake. You see how this didn't capitalize? Okay, so I didn't put a space right here. I need to have a space right there, and you'll see, not there, but let me go back. Right here, after T and H, between set and home, I need to have a space right there. Now you'll see this home capitalize. So that's why I like to use capitals in my variable names. That way I could tell if I'm screwing up or not. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and set all the rest of these up here, just like I did these, and you can do the same thing. I'll be right back in just a second. Okay, I've got all those, so let's test this out and make sure everything's working good. Let me indent this in, though, first, just to make it a little bit easier to read. So I'm going to come up here and indent or tab. Okay, so that looks good. Let's go ahead and debug through this. I'm going to hit F8 on my keyboard. And we got suspected in sub there. Somehow or another, my in sub got gone. So let's just type in sub. Okay. So that should work. Let's try it again. F8. That's how you debug through your code, guys. So that worked. All right. Now what we want to do next is whenever we open this workbook, we want to automatically activate the home page. Okay. So I'm going to click on Employees tab here to activate the Employees tab so we can see if this code that we're getting ready to put in here is actually working properly. And I want to go to Insert. Well, I don't want to go to Insert, actually. What I want to do is I want to click on this workbook because we're going to put that in this workbook module here, or this workbook open event okay so you can see right here we got general when I double clicked on that you see general up here I need to make sure I, I'm in my workbook so I'm going to click this drop down and I'm going to make sure I got workbook selected and it automatically starts my sub here private sub workbook open now this can be a pri private sub you can set it to be public if you want to it's entirely up to you. 
um, I'm pretty sure to still work. I haven't tried it, but it should still work. What I want to do is I want to call that subroutine that we just did, public bars. Okay, so I'm going to come in here, and this is the subroutine that I want to call up, which is set public bars. I'm going to copy that, control C, and let's get back into our workbook code here. Double click, and I want right here between private sub and end sub, I'm going to say call. You don't necessarily have to type the word call, but I like to do that so that later on, if somebody else is looking at my code, they know exactly what I'm getting ready to do. I'm getting ready to call up a subroutine. Okay, call, and then hit space, and then control V to paste. Set public bars. Now, what I want to do before we end the sub, after we go through and do all that, I want to activate the home page. So I'm going to say home. Okay, dot activate. Okay, I can hit tab, and you saw how IntelliSense came up, so that's telling me that everything should be working. Let's go ahead and debug through this one and make sure. Right now, you see we're on Employees tab. You should see when I debug through this, the Home tab activate or the Home page, Home Worksheet activate. So I'm going to hit F8. And now it's going to call up that subroutine and go through all that. When it ends that sub, it, you should see the home activate there. So that's working. Now there is one more thing I want to do before we um, close out for this video. I want to, when I activate this user form, I want to call up the sub, the same um procedure that's setting all these public variables so that we can use those inside our user form when we're coding inside that. So I want to go control C. Actually let's do it like this. Let's go select all this control C to copy and let's go into our user form right here where it says forms. I'm going to expand that and double click on my user form name right here form time track. I'm going to right click right here and go to view code and this is our initialize event or code that we did on the last video where it set the height and the width automatically for us. So right here, right before end sub there, I'm going to hit enter after end width before we end our sub and I'm going to go control V to paste. Okay, so now it should um, access that so let's just test this out I'm going to go into my form time tracker again my user form here and I'm just going to bring up a, a little button here that we're going to test out so I'm going to bring up my tool box here and I'm going to put a button right in here now this is just for testing purposes we're going to get rid of this in a minute I'm not going to worry about putting a name or caption on there or anything like that so I want to double click on it okay and what I want to do is I want to say um, let's let's test this out let's go to the employee um, worksheet we're going to activate that and then in cell A1 we're going to put in cell A1 here on the employees worksheet we're going to put the word name right there okay so let's get back into our VBA editor And this is our code here, our form time track. We should be in our command button one click, private sub and command button one click. Right here I want to say um, emp.activate. So emp.activate. So that's working, looks like it. Anyhow, tab, and I want to hit enter, and I want to say emp dot range tab, and then I need to tell it what range. So parentheses quotes a one in quotes close parentheses equals 
and then quotes since this is a string name and hopefully this will work <clears throat> let's see what happens let's um let's put a stop marker right here okay so we can see exactly what happens so I'm going to close you out and I want to close you out oh, I don't want to do that so it's just minus you down let's go to the home tab here let's click on get started can't execute code in break mode so let's see what's going on evidently we are in break mode yep so let's reset set let's see okay so now we're stuck okay so let's go to f8 it's getting set in the height in width and now we're going to call this set public variables it's going to go through all that in the end sub and now brought it up okay we're going to click on the button and we should see the worksheet employees whatever dot activate so f8 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 in sub so let's get rid of this stop marker here and close out and go to that worksheet and see what happens our user form and let's go ahead and hit f8 to end the sub and it did so let's get out of you and let's look right there is the work the um string name in a1 so all that's working good guys um what i want to do is i want to save this workbook and um i'll be saving it to my dropbox folder and now what i'm going to do is before i upload the next video of which we will we will be going back into our user form and um we'll be adding some control tools in there and all that kind of good stuff but uh so make sure you download this workbook and when i upload the next video i'll have this workbook available so that we can start off where we left off so i hope this video helped you out guys if it did how about give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can get all my latest tips and tricks as always thank you for watching and have a good day